right, so what I'm going to do now is I've got my three bits of water, my distilled water, which uh, I've already tested, and it tests, it reacts very little. And I'm going to take my ascorbic acid, which I know is ascorbic because I've labeled it accordingly, and from my boat, I'm just very carefully going to sprinkle a few granules in there. And I'm watching it. There we go. And i got a few granules in there. You don't need a lot. And I'm not going to stir it. Actually, you can see the granules that are in there. They kind of floated to the bottom. And now I'm going to bring my probe over. And I, it's already made contact with the water. And you can see that it's lit up very brightly. So where this water previously... Not the best setup. So where this water previously did not very give us much of a reaction, now that we've added the ascorbic acid to it, oh well, bam, we've got some bright light going. So what happened? What happened? Uh, you want to make sure you clean off your probe, and you might even give that a little bit of a, a cleaning with your, your water here. Um, I'm dealing with one hand and a camera, so I'm not going to do that. So what would you do? Would you do the same thing with your sugar? Yeah, you sure would. You sprinkle a little bit of sugar in there. Get you some, get you some sugar in there. And here's the thing. You can see that it's not dissolving really quickly, and I don't want to stir that because I want to keep that, that, um, <coughs> that, Rinse this very quickly. Here's the deal. If you put this probe up here at the top away from the sugar granules, you might not get a good reaction. You might just get um, oh, it's distilled water reaction. You're going to have to make sure that you get those probes down there where the sugar granules are and see what sort of reaction you get. Um, risking cross contamination. I didn't get um, I didn't get a bright light on my probe unless I was right over the ascorbic acid, but I guess enough is it dissolved at this point. So I'm going to leave you to do your calcium chloride, uh, sodium chloride, and see what happens.